Hey guys, what's going on? So this is my day five and six. Today's technically day six, but I wasn't able to put a video up yesterday. We had an internet outage in our area for pretty much most of the day. CenturyLink sucks, <laughs> and we've been dealing with this for the past couple of days. It's been making videos uh, pretty difficult, so hopefully they get that resolved so I can get back on my normal schedule. Um, but the weekend was a little bit more tough for me with the uh, caffeine because I use, usually have my coffee on Saturday and Sunday mornings bright and early. Uh, it's just kind of how I kick off my day and that's actually whenever my coffee drinking started. It originated on the weekend so it was just kind of a weekend tradition and then that's whenever it began to become an every other day and an every day kind of thing with my coffee. Soda, it's been no problem. Had some friends over last night. They uh, drank a lot of the sodas that were in the fridge and the root beers, so I'm happy that they, I told them, I was like, go in there and just start drinking them. I don't want them around, so um, that helped out definitely. And I wasn't tempted, so I'm pretty satisfied with the way that things are going. I didn't take no nap yesterday or today, so uh, maybe the tiredness is starting to wear off a little bit and I'm getting back to normal. So tomorrow is my week. I'm excited. Uh, I want to talk to you, talk to you, you know, why am I quitting? Um, because I got that in a few of the comments. Um, I went over it, I guess, briefly a little bit in the first video, but I'll re, you know, I'll go over it again. Uh, I had horrible anxiety for a very long time, so you know coffee caffeine soda you know caffeine in general is just not good for anxiety it's gonna make your heart rate and your blood pressure and stuff kind of elevate it's gonna make you have these symptoms in your chest if you have heartburn it's gonna aggravate that uh, it's just not good to have if you have health anxiety or anxiety in general especially anxiety over your heart and that's what I was you know my number one fear was that I was you know I had heart disease and that was what I was dying from so that was the biggest reason why I first started, you know, quitting caffeine. But there was a lot of other little reasons, like I've told you about the individual things, like the symptoms, like my heart rate going up or my blood pressure being a little higher. Um, I hated that it messed with my heartburn. I hated having to use the restroom like 15 times in the morning after drinking it. Um, but I did like, you know, it helped me have regular bowel movements and stuff in the morning. You know, that's what everybody kind of likes about coffee. Um, and it tastes great, <laughs> but also put a lot of sugar in there, so it kind of didn't make things go so well. Um, and I've never been about drinking my coffee black, so I might as well just give it all up right now. And then the soda, I was, you know, on a journey of losing a lot of weight, and uh, it kind of has been hindered lately because I've been drinking two to three sodas a day, two at work, or like one when I get it off work. Um, it's just been pretty bad with that. And, you know, each soda packs anywhere from 200 to 300 calories per soda, so, you know, do the math. So that's anywhere from 600 to 900 extra calories a day. You know, I got to do a ton of extra working out just to burn that off, and it's just not worth it. And, you know, soda's not good for you with the sugar, the calories, plus the caffeine. So that's why I'm quitting soda. As far as tea goes, I don't drink tea that much anymore. And that is kind of one of those things that I, I really am sad about. I'll, I won't be drinking anymore, but you know, it comes with the whole caffeine thing. But um, I like sweet tea. I don't drink it often enough to really feel like I should punish myself and never have any anymore. But as, as the way things are going right now, this is the way I want it. I don't want to have any caffeine, you know, consume any of it. So that's why I've done what I've done. And uh, I wish you could, uh, you know, keep me in your thoughts and your prayers so I can keep it going because I, I would love to make it to a month and two months and three months and I, my ultimate goal is one year. And I guess at that year, uh, whenever that day comes, I will decide if this is something that I want to do, you know, for the rest of my life, if I want to extend it to two years or if I do want to start drinking coffee again. But my biggest goal, you know, is one year. And then, of course, the ultimate goal, I guess, would just to never have to ever have caffeine again. So that's where I am with that. Uh, again, I'm sorry I didn't get a video out yesterday on this, but i um, give you a two-for-one special on this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that notification bell next to it so you can get updates whenever I have my videos. And leave me a like and leave me a comment if you're wanting to quit caffeine or if you're whatever day you're on on this journey. If you've joined me on this journey, thank you. It's cool. It's cool to have some people doing it with me. I've got a few of you guys that said that you want to do it. If you mess up, guys, get back on that horse tomorrow and retry. Uh, it's never too late to start trying to quit something. So hang in there, guys. Hope you all have a good one.